Hey guys, TSW here. Um, this is part two of my ice cream video guides. Um, click anywhere on the screen now to be taken to part one in, in case you missed that one. Uh, here we go. Right, this is one of our Festiga attempts on heroic mode. Um, you can see he's doing the punch and blight now. This is an ability that you need to uh, um, resist. Well, that's it, it'll pretty much one shot you. You need to get a three stack of inoculation, I think. Um, to avoid this and you get inoculation by when people get gas spores on them you'll see the AVR add-on has a radius around the person who has the gas spore um, just make sure you're within that radius um, so you get uh, the inoculation so that when he does the punch and blight you don't get one shot basically um, you also want to use any uh, like health stones or whatever if you're going low as well as any survivabilities like last stand uh, bark skin uh, bubble yourself, things like that, just to avoid the damage. Unlike on normal mode, um, Professor Putricide has got his back a little bit more. Um, you'll be able to see him looking over the balcony. He'll be throwing his malleable goo down, um, which you can see on the right hand side there. You've got to run out of it, or else um, you'll take a bit of damage, but the damage isn't the important thing. The important thing is to avoid the 150% reduced damage speed. You can see it's there again near the melee. It's really hard to try and get people um, like me. I've got the um, the spore on me so I need to get in range of people you see that I managed to uh, get it in there in the end um, so everyone near me gets the um, inoculation uh, you can see that it's going in melee again uh, the hardest part is getting melee to run out because if all melee get the 250% reduced um, weapon damage or the um, attack speed that is you know it's a DPS fight as anyone knows um, and basically um, the tanks will get debuffs as well. When they get to 8, you need to uh, taunt or switch tanks. And if it gets to 10, the tank will die. Um, and also, um, heal increases damage, uh, but only but only when he reduces his raid damage, and vice versa. Um, so it's a mixture of intense healing and damage. Uh, the tanks need to be aware of um, when he's doing increased damage, do you pop their cooldowns, use indestructible pots. Um, and that's pretty much the fight. Um, just keep people alive. Um, get make sure you get the inoculations. Um, make sure he damages enough. And on heroic mode, avoid the um, pungent, not the pungent blight, the malleable goo. The pungent blight is what he's doing now. Uh, you can see that he takes people's HP pretty low. Um, but yeah, if we didn't get the inoculations, uh, we would be one shot. And here's the rest of the encounter. You can see that he's on pretty low HP. Um, and a few DPS did get hit by the Malbul Goo, reducing their damage. And unfortunately, in a couple of seconds, we hit the Enrage Timer. And he pretty much one-shots everyone. So that was a decent attempt, although too many melee got hit by the Malbul Goo. Unfortunately, we don't have time to uh, that night to progress on him on heroic mode. Although I'm sure that next week we'll have him if melee run out. Um, and we ended up doing it on normal mode instead. And here we are on a rock face kill. Um, I believe we one shot him. Uh, you can see I'm tanking him in the middle. Uh, we've got our paladin tank uh, kiting the um, adds. You can see the uh, little ooze there. Uh, it wants to be dispelled near the paladin, so that the um, when um, the person will get the debuff. Then when it's dispelled, you'll get the little ooze. The uh, off tank wants to pick up the. Uh, little ooze um, and then when there are two little oozes that come out because the second person will get dispelled it'll make a big ooze um, and basically the, the oozes do damage so they want to be kited uh, you can see the green on the floor which obviously you want to be out of uh, the big portion of green you can see at the bottom um, you can see the taps at the top the taps when they're leaking or whatever um, indicate where the um, big puddle is going to be um, and you can see uh, all the people being sick with AVR uh, you see the radius that you want to be out of. Um, the boss doesn't hit that hard. Um, it's more raid healing. You can see the taps where the um, goo is going to be. Um, and you can see the big goo's there. That does AoE damage and it doesn't want to be near anyone, not even the tank uh, kiting it. If, however, the tank kiting it is near, you want to be using cooldowns because it can take your HP down very quickly. Um, <coughs> on heroic mode, the only difference that I knew was. Um, about the ex additional goo and the additional damage it's very similar to on normal mode um, similar to normal mode um, when uh, he does when we get multiple mob uh, multiple oozes sorry and the oozes get bigger you have uh, unstable ooze which is happening now which means that you have to get away from um, the red 
circles on the floor or if you don't have AVR add on uh, just move out of where everyone was standing because all the goo will hit where everyone was standing uh, you can see I think one person died there because they didn't move or they moved somewhere where someone else was standing um, and just before he does uh, the ads do that um, and you need to be running out um, that's when they're the biggest when they've got five um, little losers all combined um, when it is a big use you do not want it near anywhere anywhere near the range uh, feel free to move the boss if for some reason uh, he, the ad is coming through the middle ideally it wants to be tanked around the outside um, and obviously away from the um, goo on the floor uh, that's pretty much the uh, rock face encounter um, I think we do end up killing it but I mean I don't intend to spend the entire encounter time um, commentating on it so I'll just cut to the end okay I've just seen the um, clip of us kill him and it's pretty good you can see here that a couple of people have died already um, most likely to either not moving or the malleable or the uh, little oozes or the big oozes when they do more damage is uh, attacking them it's e it's easy to see the stuff on the floor to avoid I mean it's huge and green uh, I don't think that's the reason why the priest died on the right hand side of the screen uh, you can see now the unstable ooze you want to be avoiding it at all costs because they are one shot you um, and then another one happens uh, I think a couple more people die because they were in quick succession because there were two oozes up um, this is an ideal time to hero when you start being overwhelmed um, so you can heal that little bit extra to um, help compensate for the extra raid damage or whatever um, you can see here the oozes all going together, they're going to make a big ooze almost instantly there were so many uh, debuffs that people are getting um, and because so many people are dead um, people are getting repeat um, debuffs so the damage is reduced uh, you can see here another five oozes have already come together to make another unstable um, explosion ooze um, so yeah, it's getting pretty manic here. Um, Appaldon's doing a really good job of uh, getting all the users together, um, and you know it's going pretty smoothly, except for the people who've died. Unfortunately, uh, that's most likely due to lack of heals. We do have a few healers dead. I think we only have uh, about two or three healers left, um, which is pretty cool. One, twelve percent, ten percent here. Um, you can see all the little oozes are going immediately together because so many people are getting the debuffs. Um, it's going to be a big ooze, and we're going to have to move away in a second. Uh, people are still vomiting all over each other, which is a. Uh, uh, you see there, another priest died. Um, we're down to I think about two healers now. Um, the oozes are not coming quite as um, many as there were, but we're still getting inst unstable ooze, meaning we've got to run away. Um, see that they're all getting dispelled. Um, really, you know, trying to do everything we can to kill him. This is uh, this is our first attempt still. Um, more people being sick in the background. So we've got them down to about 2% here. Um, all the oozes are, get, are um, getting in the middle. You see the big ooze in the middle. This means that I need to get all the, the boss and all the melee out of the way because this is when everyone's going to die if the big ooze is near you. Like I said before, you want to be as far away as possible. Well, not as far away as possible, but decent range. Um, I think we've got, we have got just two healers left doing the last um, stable ooze explosion and finally we kill him. This was. Um, well finally we kill him um, this was a pretty good fight, nice one shot um, if we didn't have the 20% buff at this point people would have been yelling a lot more on vent, it was more of a yeah good job as opposed to screaming but yeah it was a nice kill and uh, the neck does drop that I had my eye on I do end up uh, winning with the DKP system and yeah that's the first piece of gear I've had for quite a while and that's all the ice ground you're getting from this video. Uh, cheers to everyone who v votes and subscribes. Um, I will be uploading my uh, interface for download when I do get a thousand subscribers. And cheers to everyone who um, votes on my polls on my website. Uh, the website is uh, yotsw.blogspot.com. Uh, if you want to go there, check it out. You can uh, vote on the polls, and I'll have some uh, other stuff that I don't have on YouTube up there. Uh, cheers for watching, and catch you guys later. Bye.